Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today we will talk about the overclockability of the upcoming uh, Skylink X, the new CPU for the new X299 platform from Intel. And in this video we will talk mainly about what is possible um, to reach on Skylink X, especially taking into account what the media uh, was talking about. Um, let's say in the last week during Computex I saw a lot of negative press about X299, which I can partially understand. Um, considering especially the KB, KB Lake X CPUs, I know that it doesn't really make much sense to use KB Lake X on X299 if you consider that you can also just use the normal KB Lake on C270. But let's talk more about Skylake X and from my point of view Skylake X is a pretty impressive CPU. So we now have a 10 core that's a lot cheaper than the Broadwell E before and it clocks a lot higher. Even with the stock Intel paste I was able to reach 4.8 GHz on this CPU using only a Corsair uh, AIO, 280 uh, AIO from Corsair. So there is still some headroom, I guess if you use a custom loop water cooling, you might be able to hit 4.9 GHz on a very, very good chip uh, if you use a custom water cooling without deleting. So that's very impressive. And so after this test, I deleted this CPU and replaced the stock TIM with liquid metal and this helped me to push the CPU with the AIO to 5 GHz. And now, Think again, um, so we had Broadwell E before, which could run like 4.3, maximum 4.4 gigahertz. It costs like 1,700 euro. Now we have Skylake X, which is a lot cheaper, and we can push it to five gigahertz. So what's all this negative press about? I don't really understand it. So from my point of view, this is a very impressive CPU. So we have very high single threaded performance on the 10 core, and also high multi-threaded performance, which we didn't have before uh, on the Broadwell E. Uh, single threaded performance I mean. So yeah, um, here you can see some footage of the platform I took earlier when I was overclocking the rig behind me. So you can see the Rampage 6 Apex running uh, with 32 gigabyte of memory. The, th the memory was also overclocked to uh, 3.2 gigahertz and the CPU was running stable for one hour Prime95 non-ABX load 1344K and we hit temperatures of about 88 to 90 degrees max. So this is pretty much maxed out on the Corsair AIO. I think you can maybe hit 5.1 on a custom loop water cooling loop if you have a very, very good chip. Um, keep in mind that this CPU is already pre-tested, so it's already a really good CPU. So on the average CPU, you might be able to get 4.7, 4.8 uh, if you deleted it. And on the pre-tested CPU, five gigahertz should be possible. So that's it for this video for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe leave some comments down below about X299, what do you think about Skylake X, also what do you think about the negative press uh, you read or saw in the last week. Um, yeah, see you soon.